Hey, my name is Melinda Russell, and I am obsessed with telling the stories of women involved in motorsport, young and older, from all walks of life, currently involved in a wide range of roles or sharing their stories from the past. I'm a wife, mother of four adult children, and a mama of 16. In 2017, I was searching social media for a group dedicated to women in motorsports. When I didn't find what I was looking for, I posted a message to a few racing pages to see if any women would like to connect with me. And now I have thousands of women and men who are part of the Women's Motorsports Network. As crew chief of the only media company dedicated to women in motorsports, I work from wherever my travels take me, publishing this podcast, the Women's Motorsports Network News Online Magazine, and Let's Talk Racing Live, my social media show. You will hear from women who share their stories from the grid of life, how they manage the messy and memorable moments of family, work, and racing. You will hear their tried and true secrets of success and many other topics like friendships, family, hardships, and heroes that women deal with to balance the seasons of life. So grab your favorite beverage, pull up a seat, Make sure you are comfy and get ready to be inspired and encouraged from the stories on the Women's Motorsports Network podcast. Serafina Safety Apparel serves the needs of female industrial athletes with occupations in oil and gas, electrical and utilities, steel and welding, paper and pulp, mining, fire service, military and ballistics, and of course, motorsports. If you'd like to know more about Serafina Safety Apparel, call 800-946-0897 and ask for Kelly. Once again, that number is 800-946-0897. Hello, everyone. This is Melinda Russell with the Women's Motorsports Network. And we have a very interesting guest today. I love when women that love motorsports find a passion and they blend the two together. And that's what my guest has done today. And so um, I'm going to let her tell us all about herself, her name, where she lives, a little bit about herself. And then we're going to find out more about Garage Girls Jewelry. And if you haven't heard of that, you're going to know a lot more about it by the end of the uh, podcast. So welcome to the show. Ariana, why don't you start by just telling us um, a little bit about yourself, whatever you're w- um, willing to share. Yeah, thanks so much for having me on. I appreciate it. Um, so my name is Ariana. I am a 31-year-old entrepreneur that grew up in the automotive world and um, I own Garage Girls Jewelry, as well as a consulting firm. Um, We're based out of Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm a huge traveler, love racing, um, just, you know, been been involved in the automotive community for uh, for a while now. Okay, so when did that, how did that get started? Was it your dad that was interested in it, or how did you get involved? You know, normally it's the dad. Um, but sometimes not. Sometimes girls just find their way to the racetrack for one right. reason or another. So how did you get interested in racing? So I was a kid um, and my grandmother actually gave me a little blue toy Corvette that I fell in love with. Um, my father had also been into cars and racing when he was younger. So he used to actually sit me on his lap in our uh, TVR Tuscan which was this little kind of like very lightweight, um, almost go-kart, you know, kind of car back then from Liverpool, England. And I used to shift the gears. Um, so I was, I was, you know, hooked literally and figuratively, um, from a pretty young age. Okay. And then how did you, did you start going to the racetrack? I know you live in Las Vegas. So was that something that you started going to the racetrack or, you know, how did you go from that little girl loving that little car to having a business that has amazing uh, jewelry, if I say so myself? 
<laughs> Thank you so much for the kind words. So I actually grew up in Chesterfield, Missouri. Um, so we had Gateway Motorsports Park. Uh, that's what it was called back then. Now it's called Worldwide Technology or something. Yeah. Um, so I started drag racing and um, driving at the age of eight years old there. Um, I took it as far as uh, getting into drifting when I was 13, 14 years old. We had Nopi that would come through. <clears throat> so at that point, um, when I transitioned over to the drift world, that was kind of it for me. Um, that was my passion. I loved the JDM culture and the cars and, you know, just everything about it. Um, I ended up moving to Las Vegas to, uh, I was supposed to take over a, a, as a hostess position on Motors TV. Um, that didn't end up working out. So I stayed and took over a professional race team, Formula Drift team, um, the Get Nuts Lab. Did that for a while. Noticed uh, that there was nothing for women in the automotive industry whatsoever. So I started creating my own jewelry. Um, as I was, you know, at Formula Drift and kind of became a somewhat of a public figure within the automotive world. People kept asking me, you know, where are you getting this stuff? Can you make me, you know, this and that. Um, so it kind of snowballed into a business from there. That is the the long story cut short. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, let's talk about Garage Girls Jewelry. Um, you make beautiful jewelry, all kinds of things. Why don't you tell my listeners a little bit about what you make and and where you get your ideas and then of course where can they find you so they can look sure. at it so we are online on instagram at garage.girls and then we have an online store it's www.garagegirlsjewelry.com you can also find us on amazon ebay uh and etsy um but i I have done a lot of different designs over the years. I think my favorite is the turbo rings. Um, I actually take real car parts, scale them down in CAD, the 3D software, mm -hmm. and design and produce sterling silver, um, all hypoallergenic or stainless steel jewelry for enthusiasts. Um, I also recently did a run of the only red lip carbon fiber heels in the world yes. uh, and you can find those on the website yeah those have been super popular i bet they have <laughs> yeah so those were fun um i've done a lot of other things such as uh you know wrench jewelry um gold 18 karat gold i just dropped a new gold line as well um we actually have little moving dynamic piston jewelry necklaces bracelets what have you um, so there's something to, for everyone. We even have rotary jewelry. Yeah. Yeah. And so how did you, like when you, you know, come up with those, I'm like, okay, let's talk about the red shoes. They're just amazing. Now I can't wear heels. I'm just <laughs> way too old, uh, to do it. And I have a bad knee and a bad back. So those are for you younger girls, but they are just the coolest thing. So Thank you. what gave you that idea? Um, so I had seen, a while back, just this idea, um, it, there was a shoe that had, it was a racing shoe and it had carbon fiber, you know, little accents on it. Mm -hmm. So I decided, I was like, well, has anyone done any carbon fiber heels? Um, the answer was no, kind of. Um, I have seen people wrap high heels in vinyl, like, you know, the carbon fiber yeah. vinyl. Um, mm -hmm. However, that obviously that's not going to last. Uh, and I wanted to create a very high quality, um, heel. So I sourced Italian leather, you know, these are the very, very high quality, you know, up there with a lot of the name, name brands. Um, they're very, very durable as well. So we have two, two heights of heels, 3.5 inches, and then the 4.3. So, you know, a lower heel and then the pumps. Um, yeah. Yeah, no one's no one's ever done it. So I was the first. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Have have you I'm sure you've probably got a pair that you've tried, but um the women that are buying these, I mean, I couldn't even begin to imagine that you would wear those to the track. But yet you we do see women dressed to the nines when we go some to some of these tracks. Um 
what do you think? Is it more of a luxury high, you know, you're going to have on a, your fancy dress to the banquet or something, or, or, or where are the women going to be wearing these? Yeah. You know what? It's funny that you say that. Um, so I have seen both. Uh, one of my friends wears hers to the track as just kind of like a, Hey, look at these. These are cool. And she'll mm -hmm. get in and out of the car and do some content with them. Um, other women I've seen wear to, you know, galas and, uh, you know, more high end black tie events as well. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it just, it just depends. Um, personally, I can drive in heels. So uh, when I go to a car show, cars and coffee, um, I, I wear them out and uh, yeah, people, yeah. people are like, wow, those are super cool. And you're driving oh, a stick in them. <laughs> absolutely. They are, are super cool. So um, let's talk about some of the other products that you have, because if you go to garage girls, jewelry.com, um, and you know, you hit the shop button, there's all kinds of fun products. What would you say is your best seller? So right now we kind of go through phases, but, um, one of the best sellers are the turbo necklaces. So those are the scaled down, um, mm -hmm. real turbos, you know, turn into the little pendants. Um, yeah. you can choose your crystal color. So we have Swarovski crystal line that you can choose your favorite color to, you know, to match your car. Um, or, you know, your birthstone, your birthstone or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So those are one of our top favorites right now. And then the piston necklaces too. And same thing with those, you can choose your, your crystal color. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, so when you say you, um, you know, you shrink them or make them smaller, how does that work exactly? Can you tell me about the process or is that a secret? Sure. No, that's okay. Yeah. Um, so there's a program called CAD and it's a 3D design mm -hmm. software. Yeah. So you basically take um, take a 3D image of, say, a turbo or a piston. And um, so those dimensions are what they're going to be, you know, that physical item. And yeah. then you scale it down to maybe okay. like a 164th or something along those lines um, yeah. and then have it, you know, produced in sterling silver or stainless steel. Okay. And isn't that 3d imaging just amazing what it's capable of? Oh, absolutely. Yes. I've, I've done, I have a whole line of um, car part pendants that I've done that are on the website. So everyone, if you'd like to go on there and take yeah. a look, there's a, there's a lot of them and it's growing. <laughs> Well, like the car part charm bracelet, it has all kinds of cool little car parts on it. And that's, that's one of the ones that I think is cool because it's got all that stuff on it for sure. Yes. And then, those are very um, popular. Yeah, absolutely. And then there's a, a tab on there that says luxury. Well, of course the red pumps are the first one on there, but you have absolutely. some other items that are, you know, they're, they're special. They're not just your everyday go to Kohl's and find some kind of a uh, jewelry. Um, right. Because this is really for the women who are motorsports enthusiasts, but it's also very high quality. Um, what made you decide that you wanted to have, you know, a little bit more high quality product than maybe some that we see, you know, when you go to the the races and they have the, like, uh, I hate to say flea market area, but the mm -hmm. vendor area, sometimes the jewelry isn't something that's going to last very long. Um, and it's right. not expensive, but what made you decide that we needed something a little more high end? Well, I, you know, I've been designing pieces for over a decade and, um, I just felt like there should be a curated selection um, of more luxury and class. So kind of like an upper, um, upper scale, you know, luxury aspect to it. Right. Um, all of these items that you see in here have been designed, produced um, by me personally, and you cannot get anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, uh, you know, honestly, I love that part of it. That's what makes it special too, is that I know it's made with really love and passion from someone who is not just trying to make a dollar. It's somebody that really cares about that women in motorsports have some really cool 
jewelry or, you know, it's more than just jewelry, but that's primarily um, kind of what you focus on. Absolutely. Yeah. And we love supporting, you know, women in the automotive industry, um, men as well. So we're, we're one big community. Um, I've always been a huge supporter, you know, of, of anyone that wants to come in and, and, you know, elevate the community. Yeah. Yeah. And you do, we don't want to leave the guys out because there is, there is um, a money clip and I'm trying to remember, I think there wasn't, there some rings for the guys. Yeah, we have uh, we have a men's se selection that um, I just updated the other day for uh, black Friday, cyber Monday. But um, yeah, we have this, uh, the, the most popular one right now is the never lose another 10 millimeter necklace. So uh -huh. that's, uh, that's a <laughs> necklace with a 10 millimeter on it. <laughs> Yeah, so everyone yeah. That's cool. I saw that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so we have like talk a little bit wings. about the VIP. Do you want to explain what the VIP is all about? Sure. So our VIP is um, you're basically joining. It's for it's for free. You're joining our email and our text SMS list for exclusive sales um, and first access to new releases and more. So. Um, for example, for this Black Friday, we're offering all of our VIPs one hour access before the public so they can get in and shop all the doorbusters. Um, we're very limited this year. It's only myself and another fulfillment um, employee. And then um, so we're kind of limiting the orders. Uh, this year, we're limiting them to 50 for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So once those deals are gone, they're they're gone. And the VIP is a way to you know stay up to date with everything and get early access. Yes. Perfect. So it's easy to do. You just go in and put your name and address and I believe your email address in there. And then you're never going to be left out because it's going to be easy to keep up with you guys and, and the new things that you're um, you're offering. Now, do you have an affiliate program? I do. Um, yes. When you go to the website, there's a tab up top that says earn money. And that will lead you to join the affiliate program where um, you'll receive a commission between 10% and 35% when you um, put your link out there or your special code for your followers or friends. And they'll also get 10 to 20% off as well. Okay. So they get a deal. And then just for sharing something that you already enjoy and love then uh, as an affiliate, you're also going to make a little money back, which is always kind of fun. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, we pay those out every month. Um, the threshold is just $10. So once you once you make $10, we pay it out every month and so forth. I've had girls make $400 a month just, you know, just sharing the links here and there on their social media. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, affiliate marketing is quite the thing nowadays. I mean, everybody's doing it. You know, I listen to the Dale Jr. download podcast and everything that he advertises has a code. And when you hear that code, you know that he's an affiliate for those people. And so, Absolutely. Um, yeah. And ac actually, I just signed up to be an affiliate. So I'm going to be sharing what you're doing and sharing it with um, everybody out there. So look for my code and support garage girls jewelry because not that we don't support all kinds of businesses in motorsports you know we do but i especially like to promote the women owned businesses and as a woman i've always tried to find you know cool like race race flag earrings or necklaces or bracelets or whatever it might be and it used to be you couldn't find anything. And now slowly, slowly, we're starting to get more products out there for the women. And so I want to make sure that people know about you and know about Garage Girls Jewelry, which is why we're talking today, right? Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, yeah, no problem. So what is Bride Racing? What is that tab? Or what is that? What are those products? So Bride Racing is um, a manufacturer of racing seats. And this is kind of an interesting story. Um, so you can, if you Google or look up, or if you know, like the JDM culture kind of, um, you know, when people build their race cars, they, they put these seats in their cars. Um, there's different designs. There's red, there's pink, there's a gradient gray. 
So we actually take the, um, the genuine bride racing fabric and mm -hmm. turn it into wallets, um, backpacks, you know, what have you, duffel bags, everything like that. So everything that comes from us is genuine bride racing fabric. Um, for example, the pink bride wallet, I was the only one and am the only one that um, has done a women's wallet with the pink bride racing material. Those have been very, very popular. I think we have a handful of them, maybe six or seven left for, um, for this season. And then once they sell out, we are moving on to a different color. Okay. And so, um, you know, you had to then probably have some kind of agreement or collaboration with the bride racing. And so, because not just anybody could go out and buy that fabric. So, yeah. So back in the day, um, we were in contact and even, I think at one point sponsored, um, partially by bride racing or our race team. So we were getting the fabric from them to build our, build some of our cars. Um, so that's where the, you know, the idea came from was, mm -hmm. Hey, no one's doing this. Uh, you know, I'm going to see how, how this goes. Yeah. Yeah. And what a great idea. And it, it's very unique and it's not something that you can get just anywhere. And so that makes it even more special. Right. right? Yeah. That's what, that's what I love about what you do is that, I know when I go to your site, I'm going to see things that I'm not going to see everywhere. And so Absolutely. I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm always, uh, you know, anxious to, and, and I follow you on face Facebook. And uh, so I, you know, keep track of you there too, to see what you're promoting and what you're putting out there. And I try to share that with, with everybody because um, I do really, I really like the things that you have and I just haven't decided what I'm going to buy first, <laughs> but I wanted to do this. Uh, show with you first um and that and and you know talk to you first and um help you help you get promoted which i'm sure you know you are um i think you're in your consultation your consulting business probably um you're you're better at that than i am but it's mm -hmm. it doesn't hurt for me to share with the people that follow me because maybe they don't follow you and they don't know so that's yeah. why I like getting your name out there for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, and you know, look. don't get me wrong. There are, um, I have had people copy my um, designs. Mm -hmm. I actually have a piece up currently. Um, they reverse casted my handmade hand soldered bracelet and uh, are offering on an Alibaba right now. So that's a, you know, it's a compliment. It's a, it's a backhanded compliment, you know, it's like, it um, all right, <laughs> but um, yeah, a lot of, a lot of knockoffs here and there, but you know, yeah. I always strive to provide the best quality and, you know, if something, if someone's not happy with something, we're always willing to um, figure out a solution for them. And you'll, you'll make it right with them for sure. But, you yes. know, like they always say that uh, imitation is a form of flattery. Absolutely. But, yeah. But it, it also, it, it kind of stings a little bit because you think, you know, you worked hard to come up with these designs. You have mm -hmm. high quality designs. And then when you see that happen, it's kind of a punch in the gut a little bit because it just, it's like, yeah, you can't think of your own stuff to do. You have to copy me. <laughs> That's kind of right. how you feel about it. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and the one thing else I wanted to mention, you know, I know a lot of women that drive Jeeps mm -hmm. and, and the Jeep jewelry you have is unique too. And so um, if you are a Jeep lover and you have one of those little ducks in your window, then uh, you need to get on here and check out the Jeep Jeep jewelry say that fast 10 times yes. that's not easy to do <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the sure. jeep stuff and the off-road stuff has been very very popular amongst all of our um platforms so yeah i keep you know i come up with different pieces and um new designs here and there especially for the off-road lovers yeah yeah that's great well is there anything that i haven't asked you about or we haven't talked about that we need to share about garage girls jewelry so that um, people can find you, follow you. Um, you know, Christmas is coming. And if you know somebody that, like I, I saw the Jeep earrings and I was thinking of, 
my daughter's sister-in-law is a Jeep driver. And then I have a friend who's a big Jeep enthusiast. And I was thinking, oh, those would be perfect for them. So um, what have we not talked about that you want to make sure people know about Garage Girls Jewelry? Yeah. Um, so this holiday season, we are starting our Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales on the 20th, which is Monday. Um, we're doing anywhere from 30% to 100% off. And yes, 100%. Um, you're going to spin a wheel on the website and then it'll give you your um, winning. So, you know, anywhere between 30 and 100, five people will win the 100 off. So, you know, the faster you log into the website and uh, spin the wheel, the bigger discount can be. Mm -hmm. um, also, we are on TikTok as well under Garage Girls Jewelry. And um, yeah, if you, you know, if you just Google us, we're kind of, uh, we're kind of out there, you know, in all yeah. different aspects on the internet. Yeah. You're easy to find, I think, because <laughs> of your name. So um, yeah, er I encourage everybody, you know, especially, you know, um, I shop at Target and the big box stores. You know, we all do. There's stuff we have to have from there. But at Christmas time, shop the small businesses. Shop the ones that are ran, you know, like she said, there's just her, you know, it's basically her doing this. It's not a big group of people. Um, it's not a, a corporation. It's a, a one woman show. And those are the businesses that we want to support. So I want to encourage you to follow and support Garage Girls Jewelry and any other small businesses in your town or or where you are because we want to keep those businesses alive. And and so that's one of the reasons as well that I wanted to have you on today and and let you share about what you're doing and about your products and hopefully you'll get some more affiliates and some more VIPs and, yeah, and uh, that this was beneficial for you to be on today. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And, you know, just to have the support is, is amazing. Um, you know, and if, if you want to do a share or tag us in something, we're always open to collaborating with, um, other small businesses and, um, you know, content creators, things of that nature. So, um, yeah, you guys are supporting small business and, you know, as, at the same time, you're supporting a dream and a yeah. team of women. Absolutely. Well, I don't have any other questions for you unless you have anything else now that I haven't talked to you about. Um, I, I can't think of anything right now. Okay. Well, thank you for being on and, um, I'm going to I'm going to keep pushing your jewelry out there and and keep helping in any way that I can. Thank you so much. It was really, really amazing to be on and uh, nice to, you know, meet you virtually. <laughs> I, I appreciate everything you do. Oh, sure. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. This episode of the Women's Motorsports Network podcast has been brought to you by one of our partners, Ileana Stock Car Radio. You can find them on any of your favorite podcast apps on your smartphone or tablet. Just search for Ileana Stock Car Radio. And if you're interested in contacting them, go to Ileana Stock Car Radio at gmail.com. Thank you for listening to the Women's Motorsports Network podcast. Subscribe to my show and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube. If you or someone you know would like to be featured in the Women's Motorsports Network News online magazine, this podcast, or Let's Talk Racing Live, my social media show, contact me via Messenger on Facebook at Melinda Russell, or send me an email at womensmotorsportsnetwork at gmail.com.